It's been another successful year for School District 59's Heavy Duty Machinery Program. In its second year, the program has seen even more community involvement and donations than it had the previous year. Mike Riemann, the Director of Instruction, explained a little about this wonderful workplace program. Yeah, it, it, it's uh, amazing the amount of effort that goes into it, um, not just from the school district side. Uh, Sherry Mounsey is our career coordinator here in Chetwin who is on the ground connecting with local employers and contractors in order to make this happen. Gary Young, um, previously with Young's Mills and now retired, uh, living in Grand Prairie, and he's come out to uh, run the, the um, op whole operation. He's the, I guess, the on the, on the ground foreman for all of this. Um, but the two of them, um, the work that they do in the months uh, leading up to the project is, is uh, I can't imagine the number of hours they put in to make this work. Um, they've connected with local employers, with um, local service providers, uh, with um, the implement dealers out of, out of Fort St. John and Prince George. Um, the equipment that's on site, everything is, is donated for this particular project. The mentors that are working uh, on the machines with students are all volunteers. Um, and then sort of the logistical side, the, the trailer you see here, the, um, some of the lunch stuff that's provided, the radios, the first aid, all of that comes through uh, community support for this. So it's, it's really an amazing um, event that, that really shows the, the community spirit here in Chetman. Talking with Sherry Mouncey, one of the organizers of the program, she explained how the program isn't just a week of learning, how these massive machines work, but an opportunity to learn from people in the industry as well as see what the work world is really like. Uh, this program is a chance for students to get the opportunity to learn to run machinery. Um, it's a week-long program, so it's just like a job. They're getting introduced to what exactly the work world is like. They get on a bus at the high school at uh, 6.45 in the morning, and they're drove up to the site. They come into the trailer, and they have a tailgate meeting. Uh, then they meet their mentors, and they go on to a machine. We have 12 pieces of machinery this year, and we have 12 students. Each student learns how to run each piece of machinery. So we have skidders, loaders, processors, rock trucks, many different things. A lot of these children have never even seen this kind of stuff. Um, so it's a wonderful opportunity for children or students that are thinking of maybe this is a career or something. So it's a great opportunity for them to come and to learn about the machines. I actually spoke to one of the students this morning and asked him what he thought of the program and he said it was amazing. He said he had never really had the opportunity to run anything and he felt very confident now. He said I know how to get on, what to do with a cat, all that kind of stuff. So it's just a great learning opportunity, whether this is maybe a profession that they want to go into, maybe they want to go into university, they want to come back and work for the summer. Gary Young is the industry liaison for the program. Being an industry veteran, he understands the importance of teaching the next generation the industry. He also explains that as much fun and as exciting as running heavy duty equipment can be, his biggest concern that he wants to make sure every student knows is safety. Um, everybody's got to go home with their fingers and toes and that, that's the simple thing there's no there's no substitute for it and it's we have a tailgate meeting every morning we had an orientation the first day and, and we went over the site for hazards WorkSafe was here and talked to the kids about different things that you know that uh, they're inter or concerned about and, uh, and all our mentors are are experienced in the industries that, that we're working on so they all know how to run the equipment they're able to go over the all the safety aspects of the particular piece of equipment that the kids get on before they start and uh, things to watch for and and uh, try to keep everybody spread out so we don't have congestion issues and that sort of thing so yeah safety is by far the most important thing Safety is always the top priority when it comes to working with machinery and in everyday life. Mike explains how WorkSafe BC not only helped with donations to the program, but also went into detail about what is acceptable in the workplace and what is not. Yeah, uh, WorkSafe has been crucial to this. They uh, um, are out on site with us prior to. We do a, a, a work site inspection. We had the three uh, safety officers from WorkSafe BC who came last week and worked with us. Uh, they, Scott McGinnis out of the Fort St. John office came uh, and uh, with another uh, uh, officer as well and they did a whole orientation for the students the first morning going through uh, looking at safety in general but also the rights and responsibilities of young workers identifying hazards and, and the key pieces uh, 
um, knowing that they have the right to uh, refuse unsafe work. So, uh, and then they also uh, stepped up this year and provided um, all the protective equipment for the students. So hard hats, safety glasses, hearing protection, uh, high-vis vests, um, um, all of those pieces. So uh, good to see that uh, contribution as well. We got the chance to talk to a few of the students taking the program this year and got their opinions. This is my second year coming back, so I, I think I'm just really liking the taking the better understanding of, you know, the equipment and how to run it and just seeing really what I want to focus, like, put my life into. All these old people, they're going to end up not one or not being able to work and you need younger people in the industry. For mentor and student alike, this program provides a place of learning and fun. With this kind of programming based in Chetwin, it helps students understand the way a workplace works, what is expected, and the high amount of safety involved when it comes to a work area. With the overall air of excitement, fun, and hard work this program provides, it's a safe assessment that this program will be around for years to come.